welcome to the DuckTales Nintendo game. So we're starting off in the Amazon, you're Scrooge McDuck and you have this cane and you're just kicking the fucking shit out of these things. Now what is that, like, I wish that when I walked down the Amazon, diamonds and shit appeared. Oh my god. It's a treasure chest. Like, why would there ever just be a treasure chest sitting around outside with rocks on top of it? So look at this. You, you do that, and then you go down to this hole over here. And then there's this asshole over here. It looks like he belongs on a fucking deck of playing cards. So you go up here, and you're walking in front of the total sign. That was always fucking interesting. And there's some treasures there, but the really good shit's all the way down here. Again, I wish that when I walked down the steps, diamonds appeared. So. And why is he fucking pogoing around on a pogo stick anyway? Does he actually do that in the show? I don't even remember. The only thing I remember him doing was jumping into a safe full of money. I guess that would be a fault. Oh, I fucking hate these things. Are they bees or are they spiders? And what the fuck is this shit? When would you ever see, like, these spikes on the rope like this? Like, who engineered this? Where did all that come from? Who set that up? So, you know, when there's steps just leading into nowhere, you know, you can pretty much bet that there's uh, something up there. Like that. So we're gonna, we're gonna go up here a little bit, and we're gonna... Now nah, don't go up that rope yet, because there's some really good shit over here. Fucker. Wow, look at all these ropes. But if you look at the ceiling, yeah, look at that. King of Diamonds. Alright. This game is fucking relentless. Fucking kill him. Yeah. Alright. What's over there? Who would take the time to find out? I would. Wow, it's just a huge diamond that happens to be bigger than the box that it came in. And just, you know, a, a, <laughs> a cone of soft serve vanilla ice cream in a, tre in a treasure chest that's just sitting around. Now, I, what, I don't understand, like, what is down the hole? Like, if you just fall down there, like, what, what is that supposed to represent? Like, is this like, where would this ever be? That there's just blocks in the middle of the air. Like, this could be like on top of a building or something. I don't even understand. Whoa, shit. Why do they turn red as they fall? I had a moment there. Alright, so. Okay. Oh, wow. And it just goes all the way up there. I like that how objects tend to float through solid rock. Fuck you, launch pad. Fuck you. I know there's stuff up here. Yeah. Oh yeah. Cheesecake in a treasure chest. God, what the fuck is that? What is that, a meatball or something? Come on. Oh, look what I found. Now, there's a uh, glitch over here that uh, motherfucker Mike showed us. And that is that. Isn't that fucked up? Anyway. 
Oh wow, that was uh... I guess I took a shortcut. <laughs> Like, I don't understand, like, what, is this just, like, a huge talisman? Like, is it living? I don't understand. Is it a robot? And why is that wand worth so much money? How much was that? That, that, it was, like, what, what is that, one million dollars? <laughs> and why does it freeze time? And why is there no Dewey or Huey? Why are there two green ones and one red one? I don't know. Alright, nothing's over there. We're gonna... We're gonna breeze through this one. So, uh, I always love that. It's funnier when it turns into a cheesecake. Uh, I don't even know who this bitch's name is. What was her name? Like, Lisa or something? Marla? Marlon Brando? I don't know. Uh, look at all this shit falling over here. It makes you want to go back in these douchebags. Oh, come on. That was cheap. So you go over here, and some of these don't have anything in them. Some of them actually have a ghost in them, but, uh, some of them have, uh, how much are these worth, anyway? $10,000, wow. Wait, that one wasn't, that one was worth a lot more. Hmm. All right. Whoa. Is there anything up here? No, that's the other location. Alright, look at this. Watch this. It's hilarious. I like how you hit the coat of armor. And you hit the suit of armor, and not only does the head turn into a treasure chest, you hit it again and it turns into a cheesecake. And then it slides off <laughs> and onto the ground. That is just fucked up. Again with the soft serve vanilla ice cream. <laughs> I just love those fucking mirrors, like... Like, how does that even work? Oh, shut the fuck up, you dumb bitch. Just go up now. And then you have to do with these fucking... Beagle boys. Beagle boys. Beagle boys. What's over here? There's just some weird stuff over here. Let's see. Oh, okay. That might help me if I ever got to an enemy. There we go. Let's grab some of that. So I, I don't understand why these losers just keep shaking their heads. Like, are they, are they sorry or something? Like, are they, are they in jail? I don't understand why a mummy would ever be chained to a ball. Anyway, over here is the fabulous illusion wall. And this is probably the most valuable prize in the whole game. Extra hit point. Uh, I guess they guard it. <laughs> Alright, this one location is symbolic, iconic. Alright, now. Alright, if you go up here, this takes you to this location. I like how when he ducks, he's just like, in, it's just like, in his head it pops out. It's just, I don't know. It's just weird. And I like how if you go down those holes, you die, but if you go down the rope, it's okay. Alright. <laughs> That's useless. Alright. One up. <laughs> that is a wonderful, lovely location for dropping me. Anyway, if you notice by the location of that, 
um, suit of uh, armor, it, uh, it's not possible to come back here unless you fell out of the ceiling. Because you can't hit it from the other side to move the head off of it. fall down there without it. Uh, Alright, here's where I'm going now. What the... What is that hitting? Oh, it's hitting the invisible diamond that hasn't appeared yet. I can move through the air without it affecting me, but it affects those ropes. Okay, and we're back at the beginning. Alright. Oh, I get what's happening when they spin around. You're like unraveling the bandages. That's just fucked up. Alright, which one should we choose? Oh, yeah, I knew there was something over there. Alright, this one is the ending. So, where the fuck did the other one go? Oh, I know, it went back to that, uh, that other room. Alright. This bitch is pretty hot. Before you can play it, you gotta go back to Transylvania for the seventh time. And where do you go? You go up in that mirror right there. However, I don't think I want to do that. Uh, but yeah, seriously, you would just go up in that mirror and uh, there's a key. But uh, I want to see what happens if you beat the level again. curious to see what happens here, like, is it gonna stop me before I get all the way there, or like, will there just be nothing there, or will I fight the boss again? Like, the boss corridor is here, will the boss be there? Or will it just, will it just, uh, here we go. What the fuck was that? Oh my god, what the fuck was that? <laughs> you just walk onto the menu screen. Alright, great. And you can't even pick Transylvania, you have to pick the African mine and then go back down here and talk to this dipshit again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
And it remembers the state of the level, so you can't even go back and get any of the other good shit, like those hit points. Oh no, Eureka, it's the skeleton key. Yeah. If it's the skeleton key, then how come it doesn't open the fucking door on the moon? That has its own key. Anyway. Fucking slugs. Weirdest looking things I've ever seen. And apparently that's the door right there. You just pass through it. I don't want the, these, like, help boxes appear to help you go somewhere. It's just, like, so obvious. I know there's nothing over here, but I'm gonna go over here anyway. Oh yeah, it's gonna help me over here. This game is so relentless. Fucking meatball again. Fuck! <laughs> it's relentless. There's nothing even over there. Oh no! <laughs> Look at this bitch. She's crazy. Thanks, I guess that'll help me. Oh, I gotta cross the. What, 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 I, what good do the ice creams do? Those don't help you get across there at all. Oh no, it's the hidden treasure. Wow, that's, that's a million right there. So I'm gonna get like at least two million from this land. Alright, well I know the boss is to the left and I don't want to go to the boss. So I'm gonna go down here. I love these caverns, they're just like... I really want to see a game map for this. I want to see how the, the levels all piece together. And yeah, there's no way to go back down there, so you're gonna, I'm gonna have to go all the way around. Uh, fuck, I'm gonna have to play the boss, damn it. Uh. Alright. I'll play the boss, fuck it. No. There's gotta be a fucking way. Hold on. Go back down here. I wanna go to that other fucking land. Move, you asshole. <sighs> Fuck it. <laughs> I love that sound. Alright. 1.2 million dollars and I'm feeling like an old man. Ooh. What are those crates full of? Are those coins or dust or coal or I don't what is I don't understand what it is. So that's the correct direction you're supposed to go. And you're supposed to <laughs> go through those before it comes back. Now this pile of rocks always confused me, but it seems that if you hit, hit the right one, which is this one, you actually break something in the ceiling, and it lets you go up. And 
over the whole thing. So you don't even have to deal with the frogs. That's pretty cool. Especially since you can't swim, you just fall through that water. Which goes nowhere, as usual. This game has that habit of being not geographically consistent. Not like in a Sonic game where like the water falls at the top of the level actually trickle down to something at the bottom of the level. No. You know, it can't just be like that. In this game it's, you know, it's like it's like everyone designed one screen and then they just piece them together in any random order that they fit. You. Use the seesaw, Uncle Scrooge. What the fuck? Is... That's so fucking. Whatever. Alright, let's beat this fucking boss. There's not even anything here. Here we go. Alright. Oh my god, look, it's it's a fucking it's a lesbian. It's it's like Brent with a crown and uh I, I don't even know what that is. And why does it turn into like a like a you know, uh what is that, an onion? Or is that supposed to be a CD or something? Is it like trying to like spin like Sonic? I don't understand. Uh, let's see what we get this time. Oh, just the generic jewel. 2.3 million dollars! 2.3 million dollars! And we're back at the control system. That apparently has huge dollar signs on it for some reason. <laughs> and it's time to play the Himalayas. So, <laughs> inventory skeleton key. So, uh... All this shit just appears randomly. You, you can't pogo because you get stuck in the snow. That's what makes this level a pain in the ass. Between this ground where you can't pogo and the really slippery ground that's that's downstairs, this level is, is a pain in the ass. And these fucking jumping goats are douchebags. You can go down the road, but you can actually keep going. Everyone usually goes down the road, but if you go all the way over here, there's this section where you can fall through the snow. But first, you can get that. And, uh... And then you fall even more, and then launch pads there, and he's a douche. So I'm gonna go... I'm gonna keep going down. Oh, that was close. Alright. This is like the... deepest layer of, of the icy hell that is within Duckburg. Alright. For once that was useful. Oh no, it's Dewey, Louie, Huey. Papa's trapped. Oh, that's pretty convenient. Oh no, it's Bubba. Let's see. Oh wow, we just pogo on him. Doesn't even break the ice. Oh look, I got another hit point. I guess I'm maxed out on those, because where else would they go? Hmm, look at that. I don't understand why the rabbits keep getting covered with snow, even though they keep jumping out of it. And, and what is it? the foreground supposed to be? Are those like, uh, I don't even know, like, huge columns carved out of ice? Wait till another one comes by. Uh, we're not gonna get another one. Oh, we'll probably get another 
it's over here. Bumps it, huh? I don't even understand. 
Bye. 